Hello everyone, I am CS Ishika Agrawal and I have started with the CA Foundation BCR Revision Series in which I discuss the formats of all the writing practice chapters of CA Foundation BCR. So in today's video, we are going to discuss the format of email of your chapter number 11. So it is asked for approximately 4 marks in your examination. Um, if you want to know the CA Foundation weightage video, I have made a separate video. You can find in the same YouTube channel. In the video section, you can find the weightage video of CA Foundation BCR and a separate weightage video of CA Foundation Law. Right. So, email writing is very easy. You can make any content, any body you want. You can use your own words. You can write in a very simple words. Just make sure that the format is correct. That's it. Just remember the formats and you are done. You can write any email. What is the format? First, you have to write from. From, you have to write sender's email ID. Then to. In to, you have to write receiver's email ID. If the sender's and receiver email ID is not given in the question, you can just write from and give a blank space. Then to and then a blank space. Then you have to write CC and BCC. CC means carbon copy. BCC means blank carbon copy. This two person also receive the email. Our CC person is visible to everyone. But BCC person is hidden. He is not visible to anyone. So, uh, mostly this you have to just write for the sake of the format so you can write cc oblique bcc then you can give a blank space right if any email id is not given in the question then you have to write subject <coughs> really sorry in subject you have to give the title the reason for writing the email it should be short and sweet crisp don't write a very long subject then you have to write salutation Dear Sir Oblig Ma'am. And for salutation, you have to follow the same rules which we follow in the letter writing. Like you have to write Dear Prince. Uh, let's say Ishika. Dear Ishika. Okay. Uh, if you write uh, Dear, then either write only first name. Dear Ishika. You cannot write Dear Ishika Agrawal. It will be wrong. Okay. Dear Ishika. And if you are writing title, Dear Miss Agrawal. So if you are writing title, Miss Along with that, you can only use the surname. Along with the title, you cannot use first name. Along with title, you can only use the surname. Like you can write Dear Miss Agrawal or you can write Dear Ishika. If you don't know the name, then you can write Dear Sir Oblig Ma'am. That's it. After that, you have to write body. In body, in the first paragraph, just explain the reason for writing the email. Then go on complete details. You can change your body in approx two to three paragraphs. Then you have to give the closing line, complimentary close, CC, yours, yours, sincerely, yours, thankfully, just like letter writing. So formula is, format is similar to letter writing. This is not relevant from the examination point of view. Uh, so basically, after your body, what you have to write, I'm telling you, you are done with your body. Don't see this. After what you have to write, you have to write thanks and regards, CC. And then you can write your name, uh, signature. In signature, you don't have to sign. Rather, you have to write name, Mr. ABC. Then your designation manager. Then your name of the company. Also, you can mention your phone number. Don't mention your exact phone number. You can write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right? So, what is the format? From to CCBCC subject salutation body. After body, you can write thanks and regards. CC uh, or you can write yours sincerely, yours faithfully or uh, thanking you and then you can write name, uh, designation, name of the company and phone number. That's it. That's all about the format of the email writing. You just have to take care of the, this format of this format and definitely uh, you would be able to fetch good marks in email. You can just refer to few emails given in your ICA study metal as well as you can refer to the email given in your RTP. Uh, RTP November 2022 and other RTPs. There are few lines, you know, from which you can copy paste like at last when you end your email, I appreciate your assistance and looking forward to hearing from, from you. I look forward to hearing from you. So this line you can, you know, copy paste in all the emails and all the letter writing. So, this was all about the format of the email. That's it. There's nothing much to study in the email chapter. Just take care of this format and just to refer two to three email writing from your RTP and the ICI study model and done. You are done with the chapter. Right? I hope this small formats video series is helpful for you. I have discussed the formats of all the chapter. You can, you can watch in the playlist. Uh, you can watch the video from the playlist section, right? In case of any doubt, you can ask me in the comment box below or you can connect me in Instagram, uh, Twitter or WhatsApp or Telegram. Yes, keep learning because the more you learn, the more you grow and the more you grow, the more you achieve. Take care. Bye-bye.